Hello everyone, um, ooh. so just going to do a bit of an update on how things are going, so uh, this will be the uh, the last update on Force Sabers, Force Sabers has kind of come to an end now I think, um, so Force Sabers TV, I think it might change the name to Ben Sabers, uh, keep the Sabers in the and the show is going to be about me, so the new direction, new channel. So, yeah, I've done a lot of clearing up and a lot of tidying up on the uh, uh, on the channel. Got rid of loads of stuff. I kept all the build videos and things like that. Things I think people find interesting. So, uh, yeah, but I'm just going to do a quick tour, show uh, how much has been done really over the last few days. So, yeah, we uh, with the <coughs> computer. There's no longer soldering iron. All electronics uh, have gone. Um, all this has been emptied. All the stuff behind me has gone. Um, we're going to be doing one more big skip run. And all this stuff will be binned as well. Uh, in the cabin, or the workshop. Still have the metal lathe, but there's a lot of interest in that at the moment. Uh, got all this old stock, which will be getting skipped. Um, all these tools are going to get picked up. I'm keeping the meter saw for a little bit just so I can do a bit of re rearranging and replanning. Let me zoom out. So I'm keeping that just so I can do uh, get some bits done. Um, but basically, all the tools, everything has gone. All these ben all this bench is going. Um, all this bench from here all the way down there. That's going to be going. Uh, loads of stuff has gone. The 3D printers have uh, been purchased and they were sent out yesterday, so they should be there today or tomorrow. Uh, that press drill is coming out today. And then all these boxes of stuff, all these tools and things, they're going to get uh, they're going to get thrown. Uh, going through a load of things yesterday, and I came across the Saber Forge Saber. Um, and my thinking is, I've got that, and I have loads of ripper blades. So what I'll do, I'll uh, every now and then I'm going to run a competition. I've got my one of my first ones without sound. I'll throw a few uh, competitions here and there, so people will have the chance to win a ripper blade or a lightsaber. Um, the last few lightsabers I have. I'm not selling those lightsabers up there. They're, sorry, I'm selling those lightsabers up there, the collectible Hasbro ones. Uh, there's also, you can just see, there's a lightsaber down there as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's this is sort of it, guys. Officially, four sabers is no more. We've got rid of all electronics. Um, there was, uh, let me come back to you. Uh, there was a question uh, on one of my videos. Uh, basically saying, hi, you've sold hundreds and hundreds of lightsabers. Uh, what happens uh, if something goes wrong with them? Uh, and that's a good question. Um, I mean, obviously, I appreciate every single person that's bought a lightsaber from me. Um, it's always meant a lot to us, as you know. Um, but it's one of those things I... Um, it's been a year, so any lightsaber that had a problem, uh, the warranty will have covered it. Um, and any lightsaber, or anybody that needed help, I've liaised with and offered the help best I can, uh, or fixed it or whatever. Um, but if uh, if you have a lightsaber from us and something goes wrong, uh, it'd just be the same kind of scenario that if you'd been to America and you bought a lightsaber from Disneyland and it breaks and you wanted it fixed, you'd have to find somebody online. Um, you know, go to Facebook. There's a load of different Facebook uh, chat groups to lightsabers. So uh, you'd go on there, find some way to be able to do it. Um, you know, so if you went to a Comic Con and bought a lightsaber, it's basically that's that's a scenario. You know, um, as much as I love to stay open and be able to carry on fixing lightsabers, uh, that's that time has come and gone now. Uh, I. It's, it's not something uh, I'm able to do. I don't have a soldering iron anymore. Or solder for the soldering iron. Um, 
So yeah, it's uh, it's a case if uh, if you did buy a lightsaber from us, thank you very much. Uh, it's been over a year, so um, you know the twelve month warranty would have run out anyway. But if you have bought a lightsaber from us and something goes wrong, uh, best advice I can give: go to Facebook, try and find uh, some groups on there. Uh, I'm sure people will be more able to point out someone that could get it fixed. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, you have to draw a line at some point. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, still got loads of stuff to do. It's going to take me quite a bit of time to get everything cleared. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the huge space because the space in here, when it, when all this is done and dusted, it's going to be a big room. So uh, I've got a couple of exercise machines, so I think I'll bring them in here. Um, so I can do my exercising. But uh, yeah, um, we're moving forward. So I think the channel is going to become Ben Sabres. And uh, we all go from there. And this is, uh, at the moment in time, this is where Ben Sabres is going to be filmed. Um, but I am toying with the idea of moving all the setup into the house. Uh, just because it's it costs a lot of money to heat this room up. And it seems strange heating this room up just for uh, five or six hours worth of streaming. Um, the chat on um, on my videos, I cannot get it to pop up on on the feed. I don't know why it's bugging the hell out of me. Um, but I have done a video uh, that's going to be up on the channel about Twitter, and on there it was mentioned about Kick. So I may, I may start streaming live on Kick because apparently you get ninety five percent of anything you generate. So. If I can generate some money just from my live streams, I'm thinking I might do that. So, yeah. Uh, but that is the the last update from Force Sabres. From now, uh, we will be moving on to Ben Sabres. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, looking forward to doing the videos. I'm hoping you're liking the new, the new videos. Please comment. The comments make a huge difference. Let me know what you want. If you've got some videos that you've seen that you want me to view and watch, uh, please, please let me know in the comments. Um, there's a number of videos from I was, when I was doing my first big live uh, chat. Um, there's a number of suggestions which I've checked out on, on the live, so you get to see them soon. Um, so, uh, yeah, it looks like quite possibly not only will there be a daily video, so a video every single day, from now on permanently i'm going to do this permanently for a full year uh so for the next for for a full year from now until august september next year i am going to do a full uh i'm going to put up a at least one video every single day including weekends uh and i'm going to aim for at least two or three videos a day every day uh, so there's going to be lots of content. There's going to be loads of variation. of It's not just all Star Wars stuff. It's going to be absolutely anything. I sit down and I just watch YouTube all day. So it's whatever takes my fancy. Whatever pops up on YouTube, I go, oh, that looks good. That's what I'm going to be putting on the channel. And I'll be chatting to you guys with it. So, uh, yeah. Send me suggestions. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment as always. Uh, again, if you have a, got a four savers lightsaber from us, I am really sorry I'm not able to do anything in regards to any repairs. To be fair, not a great, not a great deal of my, my lightsabers need to come back in for repair. Uh, it's not a common thing, but if uh, if something were to happen, uh, the best advice I can give is uh, we'll go into the Facebook chat groups. You'll be able to find people on there. Um, but yeah, it's it's just kind of a scenario that the twelve month warranty has now run out. Uh, but if you bought a lightsaber at Comic Con, you'd have to find some way of fixing it. If you bought a Hasbro from years ago, you'd have to find some way of fixing it. It's it's just one of those scenarios, unfortunately. So uh, it does happen, um, and it is very common. I got contacted all the time from people asking how to if I could fix their lightsabers. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can't advise who to go to for legality reasons. If I were to tell you to go to a specific person and something went wrong. I could then be at fault for 
advising you to go to that person. So I'm not going to directly advise or suggest somebody to go to to fix a lightsaber. I did give a shout out to Sheena at SJ Weathering, uh, but that is very clear that you are sending her a lightsaber and she is then going to battle damage it or weather it for you. Uh, so it's quite clear what you're wanting to do. So I didn't mind mentioning Sheena for that. So um, yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you in my next videos because there's going to be a lot of them coming. See you later.